A Rapid City photographer has captured some of the most significant pictures in Great Plains history. Now 93 years old, he says he bought his first camera at age 10, meaning he's been taking pictures since the 1930s. But the photos he took on just one day may define his career as we go along the way here in Rapid City. Photography is to Bill Grothy a bit like oxygen is to the rest of us. He's seen more than eight decades through the lens of a camera. Born in 1923, one of 13 kids, raised here in Rapid City. He started as an apprentice for a local photographer at age 12. Well, this is the first picture I took of Rushmore in 1937 in the spring. That's from the top of Washington of Lincoln. He was an apprentice up there to help one of the professionals, but brought his own camera and captured a shot most of us can only imagine. Truth be told, he rather likes the production side of photography, and that's what he did in the Army Air Corps during World War II. Based in Italy, he says he worked on the ground in photo reconnaissance. When he got home to Rapid City, he was a busy guy. I shot a lot of stuff for AP and UP and, and uh, for Life magazine. Uh, when uh, there was nobody out here. But in 83 years of photography, one day, September 2nd, 1948, Bill Grothy took a set of pictures that have spread from here in the hills, across America and around the globe. It was a reunion 72 years in the making, the last survivors of the 1876 Battle of the Little Bighorn, gathered at Custer State Park. In this photograph are eight of the nine in the group. Now the picture uh, below that's showing is a black elk. He was a prominent uh, medicine man, and but at that time he was blind and he didn't want to leave his tent. Some may not know about the Battle of the Little Bighorn. On the 25th of June, 1876, and they sue yeah, members of five different tribes were on their way to Canada trying to escape going to the reservation. At this reunion, 72 years later, the last living survivors had grown old. They were ranging from age 85 to 90 when I photographed them. They were just young kids, 13 to 20 at the battle. Many Native Americans survived but ultimately the reservation system took hold. Fast forward to the reunion. And they knew me. They even called me the kid because I, I was taking their picture a lot, a lot of the time. He says he'd been taking pictures of them at dances and other events for a couple years. And Grothy is believed to be the only still photographer at the reunion, along with a moving picture photographer from Fox Movie Tone. The photographs, are the only ones of this event, and they're a piece of history. They are in the Smithsonian. They're in museums all over Europe and Asia. Of the nine final survivors. Seven of them are Lakota from Pine Ridge. Two of them are Sons of Sitting Bull from Standing Rock Reservation. Uh, they're Hunk Papa Sue. Their names were Black Elk, Comes Again, Iron Hawk, High Eagle, John Sitting Bull, Dewey Beard, whose real Indian name was Iron Hail, Little Soldier, Pemmican, and Little Warrior. And their pictures were preserved just in the nick of time. And three years later, at the 75th anniversary, only three were alive. He says the last to die was Dewey Beard in 1955 at the age of 96. But through these pictures, taken on a single day by a man who's been shooting photographs for more than 80 years, these men are remembered. I haven't done anything more important than this. No. Uh -uh.